just a typical day in the studio. It's all, always like this. Full makeup every day, you know. I think for me, Songs and Pictures is a very honest album. Um, my heart is definitely on my sleeve with all of these songs. There's still a little bit of um, crazy comedy on there, but um, you know, I was definitely, definitely quoting real events in all of the songs. I never questioned that I would give too much away. I mean, for me, uh, honesty makes a really good song, so um, I suppose. It, never, it doesn't scare me anymore. I, I reckon that's the, the best thing about getting a little bit older is that you just are who you are and you know you see it and say it and I kind of like that. How am I supposed to see with mirrorball spinning around me? I might be dancing out of time Jumping from your song back to mine Lord, forgive me of my sins Shiny Things for me was so much fun writing. I wrote it with Lynn Botel, who I just absolutely adore writing with. Um, and I rang her that morning and I said, I don't have a song in me today. You know, I'm feeling, um, I'm not feeling very creative, so let's cancel and we'll do it another time. She said, no, I've put this day aside. Get your butt up here, we're writing. So I'm driving up the F3 and um, this hook line sort of came to me. And uh, my friends have always had a go at me because I can be talking to you and engrossed in conversation and then be distracted by something, often something really shiny, and I'll go, oh, wow. And uh, that's what the song's about. And so as soon as I got to Lynn's place, I had this sort of hook line in my head and I ran to her music room and I wrote, I wrote it down. And uh, from there, we just drank coffee and giggled. And by the end of the day, we had this song, Shiny Things. And I knew straight away that we definitely had an album track there. Jumping from your song back to mine Lord, forgive me of my sins Oh, I do love shiny things The bar on the east side For wayfaring lonely girls I took a table solo And I scanned the other world I sat there drinking bourbon and trying to belong When somebody at the bar yelled, let the waitress sing a song I'm learning more and more with each record that it's good to leave space for magic to happen, you know. So um, while we did have a, a few good chats about the, the direction of the record, I think a lot of what I now consider to be the special moments on the record, I think those are the things that happened spontaneously and surprised everyone, you know. And that's what making a record, I think, is about, is trying to orchestrate a situation where those moments happen. Having Shane Nicholson produce my record for the first time was um, such a, a great decision. Uh, I mean, I've been a huge fan of, of Shane and his music. And uh, he's also married to my best buddy, so you know there's this, there's this whole connection, a whole world of connections. And I, I always get so nervous playing my songs for the first time, especially potentially songs that are going to go on a, on a record. But he got them, and he understood what we needed to do with them. And a million bucks to spare. Walk right out of that bar with the next big thing. Let the waitress sing. Day two, we're starting with Australian Woman. <sighs> Emotional. I think Australian Woman, I still can't get through without, um, without tearing up because of the subject matter. And it was written about Beck Buchanan, who is one of the strongest and most incredible women I've ever met. Clinging to you like a shadow that holds its own. A very good friend of mine by the name of Beck Buchanan lost two of her four kids in the Victorian fires a couple of years ago and um, she's one of the most inspirational women that I've ever met and I wanted to capture her in a song and I had this idea and sort of half a song written I went to Brisbane and I finished this song 
and um, this is the first time I've ever performing it. so much. Family are always your biggest critics and my son Ricky uh, doesn't like country music. He's proud to say that he doesn't like country music but he does like this album which I'm really really thrilled about. I remember him sitting in here in the studio when we were going through some of the songs and some of the demos and he looked at me, he heard Australian Woman and he looked at me and he said, Mum that's a really good song, you might win an award with that and I thought you're 12 and you don't like country music and generally, you know, are really embarrassed that your mum's a country singer. <laughs> and you like it, so it's cool. And there is a song about him on the album. You know, I, I love Purple Hills because it's, uh, it's, it's, this, it's just got that beautiful sentiment as from a, you know, from a parent to a child and that, that kind of maternal understanding. I love that side of that. It's very kind of emotional in that sense, I guess. It's a celebration of being a little bit different, and he and I have always been that way. So here's to all the ones who don't fit in. The drifters and the dreamers give the world their own spin. Day three, writing out lyrics to the Becky Cole Casey Chambers duet. Casey Chambers is definitely um, my best friend, you know, we've known each other since we were kids and we've written songs together, we used to be in a band together and our history is, is huge and long and the song Millionaires, which she she wrote the original version and we got together and collaborated and, and wrote this extra part that's gone on my album and uh, the song is just our friendship absolutely uh, in its most honest form um, we are a little bit different she likes the singer from the Beatles she likes the one who plays the drums the only expectation that I to myself was that I wanted to make the record that I was completely and utterly happy with in my heart. How other people feel about that I have no control but I can tell you right now that it's for me it's it's the best thing I've ever done because of who was around me and who helped me do it. Any song that's personal and has that kind of deeper connection to a singer is something that always appeals to me and makes it more challenging to make as a record and I think that's why it was fun. Everything is exactly how I wanted it to be and um, I finally, you know, was able to, I guess, um, press the buttons and, and make it happen myself and get off my lazy butt and do it my way. <laughs> yes, if friendship was money, we'd be millions. 